Hey guys, Jeff here at Zip Hearing. We are the place to buy hearing aids online with local service included. And today I'm gonna talk to you about a super popular new hearing aid. It's called the Phonak Audeo Marvel. This hearing aid is flying off the shelves at Phonak. I haven't seen this kind of buzz for a new hearing aid since 2014. What happened in 2014? The first made for iPhone hearing aid was released, which let people pair their hearing aids with their iPhone and stream music, phone calls, whatever. Uh, and that's been an incredibly popular hearing aid feature ever since. Let me review some brief history since then so you can kind of get a sense of what makes the Marvel hearing aid special. So a few years later in 2016, the first really reliable rechargeable hearing aids were released powered by lithium ion batteries. So at this point, we had good rechargeable hearing aids and we had good made for iPhone hearing aids, nothing that did both really well and nothing that would connect directly with anything other than Apple products. Then in 2017, Phonak released the Adeo B Direct, which was the first hearing aid to stream directly to not just iPhones, but pretty much all cell phones. But it wasn't rechargeable and while a good hearing aid, it did have some shortcomings. In early 2018, we saw the release of the first made for iPhone hearing aid that was also powered by lithium ion rechargeable batteries. So we finally had a good made for iPhone hearing aid with a reliable rechargeable battery, but nothing that was direct to Android phones or all the other phones on the market. So finally cut to the end of 2018 and Phonak releases the Marvel. It ties all these things together, connects to pretty much all phones and is powered by a lithium ion battery. So Marvel gets you the widest connectivity to your devices, the best rechargeable battery technology, no sacrifices in sound performance, and this is why it's such a popular hearing aid. It checks a lot of boxes, and I think has been a hearing aid that people have been wanting for a while. In this video, I'm gonna focus on four main areas of this hearing aid. The physical build of the, of the devices, the new operating system, rechargeability and battery life, and finally, Bluetooth functionality, the app, and TV streaming. So first, for the build of the devices, there's a few minor changes to this product compared to Phonak aids that came before it. My favorite thing, I love the changes Phonak made to their wax guards. If you've had hearing aids before, you know how tricky it can be to change the filters. They're the filters that prevent oil and wax from getting inside your hearing aids. Occasionally they get plugged up and have to be replaced. This is the easiest system I've ever used. Here's how you do it. When it's time to change the wax filter, simply take the dome off. You've got this disc labeled one and two. So you start at number one, insert the receiver, pull it out, insert number two, done. This new system now has four times the capacity, so that means you can go longer in between changing your filters. Another new change is the receiver wire or speaker. Uh, Phonak has given this a wider fitting range so it can fit more people and made it a little bit smaller. Uh, I think the less variations of parts on any particular product, the more likely you are to get a quick and easy replacement part. So that's a good thing. On the rechargeable models, there's a new color indicator, red for right and blue for left. Uh, that also shows your serial numbers here, which is really nice. A lot of manufacturers make this number hard to find, and sometimes it's really helpful to be able to easily access this number, so I like that change. So, small improvements, but at the end of the day, it should mean that Marvel hearing aids work better, for longer, are easier to use, uh, and with less service needed on them. Now, let's talk about the new operating system, AutoSense 3.0. Marvel hearing aids are the first Phonak hearing aids built on this new operating system. The operating system is basically the brain of the hearing aid. It controls which settings and features activate in which acoustical environments to make sure you're getting the best sound quality in every environment. Now, in my opinion, there are three main improvements with this operating system. First, and I think the most beneficial thing, is binaural voice stream technology. This is the technology that helps you hear in noisy places. And this technology was not available on Phonak's previous direct streaming hearing aid. Binaural voice stream technology, to me, is what makes a Phonak hearing aid a Phonak hearing aid, and now it comes standard in the Marvel 70 and 90 models. The second improvement is sound quality from the first fit meaning from the very first time these hearing aids are fit at your first appointment, Phonax made changes to how these hearing aids are set so the sound quality is more comfortable. Uh, our customers that wore previous Phonak hearing aids and then upgraded to Marvel have already confirmed that this is the case. They just sound better, more natural, less tinny or sharp right from the first fitting session. 
Third is AutoSense 3.0 now includes classification of streamed signals, and I think this is the first hearing aid to ever do this. Uh, what this means is when you're streaming to your hearing aids, like from the TV or phone or any media, Marvel hearing aids can now tell if that content is primarily music or speech dominant, and they'll automatically optimize the hearing aids based on that to get you the best sound quality. Uh, and this is all done behind the scenes. There's nothing for you to fiddle with. All right, let's move on to part three, rechargeability and battery life. At the time of shooting this video, Marvel is available in either rechargeable or with a 312 battery. Here you can see them side by side to get a feel for differences in size. So the rechargeable one is slightly larger. Uh, I'll show you how they look on the ear. So this is the rechargeable one. I probably should have ordered these in the chestnut color to match my hair better. And here's the 312 model. So even though the rechargeable model is slightly larger, it certainly doesn't feel any different on my ear and I don't think it's any more noticeable. There's a longer lasting 13 battery on the way and by the time I publish this video, it'll probably be available as well. Now, in terms of battery life, if you get the 312 version, here's what you can expect. Assuming you do no streaming, and if you're like most people and you wear your hearing aids 16 hours a day, you're gonna get around five to seven days of battery life from the 312 version. Now, if you do stream from the phone and TV for a few hours a day, expect to get about three to five days out of your batteries. Now, if you get the slightly larger Marvel 13 version, you'll get a few extra days of battery life. If you go with the rechargeable model and you never stream, you're gonna get 24 hours of power. If you do stream a few hours a day, that's gonna drop down to about 16 hours and at the last hour of life on your battery, you'll hear a notification that the battery is low and then you'll have about an hour of time to charge your hearing aids or they're gonna quit. Now let's review the charging options that you have. So Phonak offers three charging accessories, the charger case combi, the power pack, and the mini charger case. The charger case combi comes standard with all orders. When you're not wearing the hearing aids, you just set them in the charger slots. It takes three hours for these hearing aids to be fully charged. And if you get in a pinch and only have time for a quick charge, put them in there for just 15 minutes and you'll get six hours of battery life. One of the things I really like about the Marvels compared to the previous rechargeables from Phonak is when you pull them out, they're automatically on. You don't have to push a button like the earlier model to turn it on. So it's more intuitive and easier to use. Uh, and you can change the settings if you want. It doesn't have to automatically turn on. Now inside this charger case combi is a compartment for desiccant or dehumidifier beads uh, to pull the moisture out of your hearing aids while they're charging. If you live in a humid environment or perspire a lot or work outside, I recommend using these. Uh, you have to change them every few weeks to every few months, it varies, uh, but the beads will start turning white when it's time to change them. One thing to note is these do not come standard with an order. Just ask your hearing provider to get you some. They're, they're only a few bucks. Now an optional accessory, which I highly recommend is the power pack. So you know how for smartphones, you can get a mobile power pack that'll get you extra juice when you don't have access to an outlet. I use this one when I'm traveling or gonna be out of the house all day. Well, this same sort of concept exists with these hearing aids in the form of Phonax power pack. Uh, now this plugs into the bottom of the charger case and is capable of getting you about seven full charges in the event that you don't have access to a power outlet. Phonak recommends just keeping it plugged into the bottom of your charger case all the time, so anytime you need it, it's always fully charged. When you go on a trip, just take the entire charger with you and use it like you normally would for up to seven full charges. The third accessory is the mini charger case. And this is basically just a smaller version of the charger case combi. If I had hearing aids, I'd probably buy at least one of these and put it in my office. It fits neatly next to a computer, for example. Uh, it's just nice having more than one charging station. Like for my iPhone, I have these little uh, inductive charging pads spread throughout the house because I'm so terrible at charging my devices that I need my chargers readily accessible wherever I am or I just won't charge them. So I definitely recommend, if that sounds like you, buy at least one mini charger. Finally, my favorite thing about these hearing aids and what's getting all the buzz is the Bluetooth. If you've never had hearing aids that are Bluetooth compatible and pair with your phone, you're missing out and I recommend watching the video I've linked in the description, which will give you a quick overview of Bluetooth hearing aids. So the first thing you wanna do when you're considering buying Marvel hearing aids is go to Phonax website and make sure that your phone is compatible. Almost all phones are, but I have heard of a few that are a little glitchy. So just go to the website linked in the description and check your phone. But if you're like most people, your devices will work just fine with the Marvels. I use an iPhone 10 and iPad Air with the latest versions of iOS and had no issues. And here's how you do the pairing. It works exactly how you'd expect. Go into your settings, hit Bluetooth, find the hearing aids, there they are, and we're connected. 
Now, any phone calls, music, podcasts, whatever, any audio from the phone will stream to the hearing aids and you'll hear it through both ears. Now that's the easiest way to get up and running quickly, but if you want a little more functionality with these aids, then you wanna download the Phonak remote app. Uh, I'll put a link below, and that'll allow you to control the hearing aids with your phone. So let me show you what you can do with the remote app. First, you can adjust the volume of both aids at the same time or individually. If you have multiple programs on your hearing aids, you can switch programs here. One thing I really like is when you're streaming, you can adjust the sensitivity of the microphones here so they don't pick up as much sound around you, and as a result, whatever audio you're streaming comes in much clearer. Or if you have a tinnitus program, you can adjust the strength of the masker here. And then on the rechargeable models, there's a battery indicator. There's a few things that I wish this app did, uh, but they're not deal breakers. Uh, I wish you could make bass and treble adjustments. Most apps today do allow for this, and it's kind of nice to have that additional flexibility as a user. Uh, I also wish that this app had a feature that would help you find these hearing aids if you lost them. But there are some really cheap apps out there that'll let you locate Bluetooth devices, like Marvel hearing aids, if you lose them. So it's a nice basic app, uh, an easy pairing process. Really the only issue that I had was once I was paired to my iPhone, switching the hearing aids to be paired to my iPad. Uh, I actually had to go into the iPhone settings first and completely forget the hearing aids and then pair with my iPad. And I've heard a few users that have this issue as well where uh, moving between their devices isn't the simple connect to disconnect process that they expect with Bluetooth devices. So a bit of a hassle, uh, but if you only plan on keeping your hearing aids paired with just like your phone, um, like I expect is the case for most people, this probably won't be an issue. Now, in terms of streaming sound quality, here was my experience, yours may differ depending on your hearing loss and how your hearing provider actually configures your hearing aids. So streaming music from my iPhone was just okay. Uh, to be fair, I've never been a fan of streaming music sound quality from any hearing aid manufacturer. Um, in my opinion, the sound quality is probably 70% as good as my Apple headphones. There's just not much bass. So if you're an audiophile, you'll probably wanna stick to the headphones you use. But again, depending on the configuration of your hearing aids, the sound quality can really drastically improve. It's something to talk about with your hearing provider. Now, in terms of streaming phone calls, it's an awesome experience, and Phonic has made this work in a way that no other hearing aid manufacturer has. So when the hearing aids are paired to my phone, as long as my phone is within like 15 or 20 feet of me, if I get a call, the phone will ring right in my hearing aids. I can simply hit a button on the hearing aid, accept the call, and start talking, and the caller will hear my voice through the uh, microphones on the hearing aid. So it's totally hands-free. And if I was, say, listening to music and I got a call, um, I'd accept the call, the music pauses, and then when the call ends, the music comes right back. It's pretty cool and works just how you'd expect. In terms of sound quality for streaming calls, the sound that I heard through the hearing aids was excellent, no complaints. But you also have to consider the sound quality for the person on the other end of the call, and that quality can vary depending on your environment. Because your voice, what the caller hears, is picked up from the microphones on the hearing aids, and because those mics are further from your mouth than a phone's microphone would be, your voice is just not gonna come through as clear as it would on a regular phone. I found that in quiet environments, like around the home, the caller could hear my voice perfectly, but in a place with more ambient noise, you may be better off just answering the call with your phone. Having said that, for a little bit of anecdotal evidence, a lot of our customers who have bought Marvel hearing aids have then called us while wearing their hearing aids, and I can't even tell that they're talking to me through the hearing aids. So really, it's not an issue most of the time. So that covers streaming from your phone, but these hearing aids can also stream from the TV using Phonax TV connector. This is a simple to use device. You just plug it into the back of your TV, hit the pairing button, and it works. And I'll tell you, the sound quality streaming from the TV is excellent. It's better than any hearing aids I've ever listened to through the TV. I'm a fan. The TV connector comes with an optical cable. Most newer TVs have this port. And if you connect to the TV with this, everyone else in the room will be able to hear the TV at their preferred volume, like normal, but you can turn up the volume that you hear the TV using the plus or minus buttons on the TV connector or using the buttons on the hearing aids. If you don't have an optical port on your TV, you can use a regular RCA cable, you know, the red, white, yellow cables. I don't think they come with your order. I could be wrong, but they didn't come with mine, um, but you can buy them anywhere. They're like 15 bucks. 
We've touched on the physical improvements of this hearing aid, the new brain of the product, rechargeability and battery life, Bluetooth, the app, and TV streaming. And you know what? There's still more to this hearing aid that I haven't even touched on. Uh, I'll put a link below to a page on our website where you can read a lot more about Marvel hearing aids, see user reviews, 360 degree photos, whatever you need. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below. If you're ready to set up a trial period with a Zip hearing provider near you, just click the link in the description and we'll be in touch with you shortly. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get alerted when there's a new video and I'll see you on the next one.